I imagine that Pollock Hill shakes off more luggage than any hill in England. There lay the suitcase upside down. When I picked it up, the clasps sprang back and the contents lurched heavily into the lid. I clumsily patted them back, and as I did so, it was not possible to be unaware of a pink silk nightdress nestling in a most affectionate manner between a man's tweed waistcoat and his jacket. One other thing I saw, a small blue crescent of confetti clung like a burr in the tweed. Well, what was a man to do? I stood midway on Pollock Hill. The birds sang, as I suppose they sang in Eden. The leaves moved and flitted as they moved in the first garden. And somewhere along that steep road, Adam and Eve were exploding towards their honeymoon. And in my arms, their trousseau. I sat down, hoping that they would return.